<laughs> All right, grab a ball today if you have one. Otherwise, it's going to be a couch cushion and you're going to feel like a penguin. And if you want to walk around like a penguin, <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> my daughter has decided I've gone insane. Okay. <laughs> I can't be the only one. All right. So uh, <laughs> grab up your ball <laughs> and just start switching from hand to hand. That's all you got to do. Just open and close the door. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing okay today. Yes, I have videos to put on the YouTube channel. I have time to do it today. Awesome. So start throwing a hip in there. If you're not a dancer, I don't know, fudge something. <laughs> ah, there we go. So then start reaching up at an angle and start bouncing over into those knees. So this is one of those classes where you might be like, I never want to see a ball ever again. Gorgeous people, you are gorgeous people and I love you. And I appreciate you showing up. All right, back out to center. Nicely done, okay. So for those of you with shoulder issues, you may need to take this slower. We're gonna pass this behind the back and we're gonna slow it down. So it's gonna pass right there behind the tuchus. So my ball's got these little knobs all over it. it, makes it really easy to grab onto. If you've got like a one pound weight instead that you wanna pass behind the back, that's a good thing to do. But this starts to open the chest up. Gets those delts in the front side of that shoulder to stretch out a little. Nice, we got two, two, one and one. Take it out in that right hand. Left leg is going to start to move. Kick up and behind. All right. And if you want to make this more complicated, touch the foot with the ball. Yes. Oh, I feel like a, an old fashioned water pump. <laughs> if water starts shooting out of my mouth, well, it might be better. You just never know. Yes. So reactivity with those feet, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, switch sides. Nice, all right, left arm is out, right leg starts to kick. So you may notice one foot is more painful than the other, or things are going snap, crackle, pop. It's all good. If you want to start touching that foot. Oh, I missed. Oh, apparently <laughs> the eyes in the back of my head aren't working. There we go. Oh, yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then kick across. It doesn't matter if it's same arm, same leg, opposite arm, opposite leg. It's just about moving. There we go. So the big thing, we're going to do a little bit of work behind the back today. Because especially for people 55 and above, I'm not pointing anybody out. I'm not going to, I'm not calling any, any names. Doing things behind the body gets precarious as we get older. And the brain almost forgets how to do it. 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and 1. Plant those feet. Squat time, reach out. Now, if you want to grab a light weight, and reach out, so I'm reaching and pulling. Reach and pull. So squeeze and pull. Squeeze, activate that chest wall. Yes! We're gonna call this five. Six, seven, eight, 
squeeze that's nine ten now this time we're going to go down and hold because we love a good hold and we're going to squeeze whatever's in your hand to activate the chest one two three four six seven eight nine ten ten nine eight seven six five four three two one pull it in stand it up all right good job all right first set of biceps if you've got three sets of weights perfect if you don't have three sets of weights use what you have three times unless it's too heavy so then you're going to switch out one set of the biceps with a set of triceps possibly over the head doing those good guys okay so i'm going to grab my heavies first oh, how'd you like that for really poor technique on pick it up that was how not to pick up heavy weights just in case you were wondering <laughs> all right play at the feet shoulders roll up and back settle those shoulder blades down and in i'm gonna come close okay so a little bend in the knees chest and collarbones up ah 10 curls gonna watch my face crinkle up my muscles aren't used to these yet here we go one two three four five Ooh. five four three two and one now let them hang nice okay so while they're still waiting forward okay remember that little that little thing that the kids were all doing what they call that thing i don't know they went like this we used to learn it in class just dropping those behind the body nice and slow yep you've got heavy weights do it really slowly getting that little core crunch in there it's a little tiny thing activating serratus muscles on the side of the body nice three three two two one and one all right switch them out go for that middle size weight ah, okay use the legs yes okay We've got a middle size weight dun, 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 dun. ready freddy 10 of them one two three four five five four three smile two and one all right since this is our middle set widen those legs just a little bit roll them up into moose antlers and then do your little twists here one and one two and two make sure those abs grab on right there at transverse abdominis what i call your pee in your pants muscles ah there we go six six seven seven eight eight being very careful for backs nine nine ten and ten nice close them in and down light set all right so one would think, yes, we're just going to do 10. No, we're going to go for 20 with the light set. Why? Because we're awesome. All right. Collarbones high. 20 of them. 20. 19. 18. 17. 16. 15. 14. 13. 12. 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take both weights, put them in one hand. The other fingertips go behind the ear. We're going to drop out to the knee for a simple, okay, into that core. Here we go. 1, 2, three four 
five, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch hands, but before we go to the other side, we're gonna deliver these forward with a squat and pull them in. Beautiful. Here we go. One, two, three. Nice. Four, five, six, seven. Tush way out back. Eight, nine, and 10. Opposite hand, fingertips up, belly button in, collarbones high. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Good job, 10. Nice job keeping up with that Zoom delay. Got 10 more of these really deep squats with the delivery, okay? Drop, press, one. Just like you're sitting in a chair back there. Three, four, five, five, four, Three, nice, two, and one. Ah, all right, step it out. Let those arms hang. If you need water, grab water. Notice I still have my light weights. So we've got another 20 with the light, 10 with the medium, 10 with the heavy. If at any point it gets to be too much, then you go into triceps, either behind the head, so if you don't have a heavy enough weight, you can double up and do triceps or you can do them out back, you know, triceps, biceps. They're all really useful. All right, ready for the next 20? Ah, roll them. One, two, three, four. Let's pick up the pace. Five, these are light, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let them stretch and then go for medium set. Maybe if you have a small dog at home, do biceps with the small dog. <laughs> don't drop it. <laughs> I don't know. It's something different. Okay. This is where the knees come in handy because we start, we start, whoa, we start trying to pull these up like this. If my knees stay bent, I can't rock as much. And if I'm up here, then I start, and what happens is I start crushing back here at S1 and all through that lumbar spine. Knees bend keeps us conscious, but it also keeps us from swinging. All right, 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, put those down straight into the heavy set. We split up those first three, the second three, one right after the other. Wow. All right. Grip of choice. So if the bicep is worn out with knuckles forward, maybe move into a hammer grip. We're going to do these as singles so that we don't sacrifice form. So either knuckles and fingers forward or hammer grip. All right, knees bent, big breath. <sighs> okay, right arm, left arm, here we go. One, one, focus on that muscle. Two, two, three, 
three, nice, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Here's your eight set. Yeah. Nine. Everybody looks good. And here's our last two. Here's where my form gets really bad sometimes. So I'm concentrating on that left arm. Squeeze. Ah. All right. Keep those heavy weights. Going to do another set of those. Just slide to the side. Come up in the middle. Give it a squat. And then other side. Come up in the middle and give it a squat. All right. Right, left. Right, center, squat, lift, left, center, squat, lift, right, center, squat, lift, left, center, squat, yay, number three, and middle, and squat, and up, and out, and lift, and squat, and number four. I used to listen to those, you know, 1980s tapes, and they were just so peppy, weren't they? There was no sass. <laughs> I think sass came along in the thousands, 2001, 2005. Yay, we got five more. One, and up, in, and up. Dun, 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 dun. four more. Pull up those pants, other side, and pull up those pants. Three more. Oh, yeah. <sighs> nice in that core, getting strong. This is our second to last set. Squeezing, squatting really strong in those quads, powered up. This is the last one. So really strong, powered up. Boom, hit that side, drop it in and lift. Ah. All right, heavy weights, they go down. Ah. Grab some water, grab your ball. I'm gonna move my weights out of my chair for the time being. So floor or chair comes next. That's up to you. I'm gonna get mine to swing around. All right, we've got this beautiful ball of ours. First place it's gonna go, even if it's a couch cushion or if it's a block for yoga, um, not the dog, not the cat, no toddlers, um, no chickens. But whatever you're gonna put in here, you wanna be able to squeeze because we're gonna work that ankle down there at the bottom, okay? So I've got my weight in my right foot. My left foot is hovering. If you need a hand on a chair because balance is awful today, then have that. We're gonna come up and out. We're gonna squeeze that ball 20 times. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, switch to the other foot, feels kind of weird, and go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all right, nice, we're going to take whatever you have, put it behind your left thigh, and hold it up and in there, now, if this is like a three pound weight, that might be kind of cool, right? No big deal. So I'm going to turn back forward, and this is where it's going to get a little, little more strange. I like strange. Belly button draws in, shoulder blades together, the outside. So I've got black pants on with a black wall back here. Hold on. It's going to make it really hard. Maybe that color choice will change. No, that's not going to do anything. Okay. So the thigh goes out to the side. One, two, three, four, 
five, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slide up and center. So I've got, whoa, I'm holding it up and then, and then squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remove. Roll out that standing leg. For those of you catching up, just do your thing. Whoa. So, how is that? Those are fun. They look like nothing until later. <laughs> later when you're like, why do my thighs hurt? This is why. All right, so now I've got it tucked behind my right leg. And then that right knee is going to go out to the side. Hold a chair if you've got to hold a chair. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slide it through to center and squeeze the ball. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Whew. Put it down. All right, kick behind you. Work that out. Let that ball move. All right. Pick up the pace as if you were an athlete dribbling down the court, kicking behind. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, squat, big squat, wide leg, take whatever it is you have in your hands, put it in between your forearms, and then give little, what I call little crickets. Like you were a cricket rolling your, your legs together. Cricket, cricket, cricket. Burp, 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 burp. Yes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Nice modifications. And lift it up. Ah. Nicely played. All right. These little balls can kick a booty. <laughs> I like working with these. People kind of groan. They're like, oh, good, a ball. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so floor time or chair time. I'm going to stay up in a chair so that I'm easier, more easily seen. I'm going to come at an angle. <sighs> but if you're going to hit the deck, hit the deck. The ball goes in between the knees, and I'm going to slide all the way to the edge. So for those of you that are going to be on the floor, you're just sitting on your tush. That's all. And you're hovering. And then you've got your arms up and out in moose antlers, and you're going to squeeze those thighs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put the feet down, lift it up, give it a breath. You ever feel like you have those days where you're in fast forward? I'm like, don't forget the things, don't forget the things. So I feel like I'm like talking a million miles an hour. Whew, all right. Now, either hands perched behind the booty on the floor, Hands across the chest, hands up behind the ears to support the neck, but we're going to pull those knees in toward the chest. If you're in a chair, they're just going to come up. You're going to get more range of motion out of the seat. Do what you got to do. One, two, three, 
four, my abs says no. <laughs> Six, seven, good. Eight, nine, and 10. Nicely done. All right, ball. Find a placeholder for the ball off to the side. Maybe I'm just going to stick it behind me in the chair. <sighs> or I'm going to stick it by next to me on the floor because it's trying to interrupt. Soles of the feet come together. Fingertips behind the ears. <sighs> and then we attempt to touch the elbows to the knees. One, one. So my knees are wide. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Put it all down. Stretch it all out. If you're on the floor, stretch out completely. <sighs> Open that ab wall up. And then are we prepared for a reverse skydiver? The answer is yay. All right, if you're on the floor, pick your head up off the floor, tuck it into the hollow of the throat, lift the arms, start to lift legs and arms. Oh, so nice. 10 more seconds. Let it all shake. Three, two, one, release. Lay it out flat if you're on the floor. <sighs> Two more of those to go. Are we ready? Yes. Head curls up, hollow of the throat, arms lift, shoulder blades away from the chair. If you're in a chair, lift up and out. Whew. Yes. Trying to get that whole body to come off the floor, three, two, one, stretch it out. <sighs> Levitate if you can. You want as little skin on the floor in the chair as possible. Like the most minute bit. <sighs> All right, third one. Head, chin, lift, oh, so shaky. Shaky, shaky, eggs and bakey. 10 seconds. Oh, my body's going, no, thank you. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, either outsides of the legs on the floor or hands on knees, whatever's going to help you rock that body. You could just do windshield wipers with the knees if you wanted to. So all that sets the hip flexors off. Wonderful. Well, can make for a sore back later. All right. Last little bit with the abs. Grab up your squishy item. If you don't have a squishy item, you're going to do the old 1980s pedal the feet. Okay. So if you don't have a ball to do the cricket where it rolls like that, then just pedal. All right, edge of your seat, it's so exciting. Gonna lift, let the legs drop a little bit if you're in a chair, moose antlers. And then here we go with the crickets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Roll it out. Excellent. Woo. That's how you get it done on a Tuesday. Holy smokes. And all I promised was bicep curls. <laughs> See, it's like a sneaky letter. I got to slide the rest of it under the door or nobody will show up. <laughs> Be like, Psst, we're going to do a whole bunch of ab work today too. No, I'm going to eat breakfast. 
All right, lift that body up, roll onto all fours if you're coming all the way up. Make it easy on your body. <sighs> it's time to transition into the next piece. I'm gonna come over here and hug Colson. These are the only safe hugs when your workout partner is made out of rubber. He's good, dude. All right. And we just we just reach over and just give him a little poke every now and then just because we can. <laughs> okay. Start to breathe into that body. If you've got a chair somewhere nearby or some wall space, you may want that today. Ah, I'm going to go back into that balance aspect. So balance is amazing for confidence building. It's awesome for third chakra because third chakra is about the ego and the ego is not bad. It's not about let's all kill the ego. The ego is when, you know, we do what we love to do and we do it well and we present ourselves beauty. You know, it's just, there's a lot of beauty in this. This is where our sense of self really simmers and balanced postures help with that because confidence who couldn't handle a little more confidence all right let the arms relax the palms open the weight even out on both feet give the hips just a little bit of a sway side to side just a little shift maybe a pedal of the knees and then pause with the side to side and slide forward and back in the balls and the heels of the feet. Now I just realized that for some reason my head was pulled way back like, a, like an old Barbie. <laughs> my head was about to fall off the back. So reach up through the crown of the head as well. And then slowly let that movement settle until you're nice and even on the balls of the feet and the heels. And you could just take an imaginary line from the kneecap and draw it straight down through the middle of that foot. So a little bend in the knee. Big breath in. Sigh it out. Let the arms rise just a little. Big breath in. Sigh it out. Let them rise just a little more. Big breath in. Sigh it out. Now let the hands come in, the heart, breathe them in. Interlace the fingers, breathe them out, knuckles out or palms out. Breathe it into the heart. Knuckles out or palms out. Breathe it in. Reach it out, sit into those legs, give yourself an extra breath and katasana here. Breathing in, breathing out. The next breath pulls the hands back in. Hands reach back out to the sides. Breathe up, fingertips come together over the head. Back down to the heart. Open up those arms, breathe in. Breathe out, reach up, breathe in, lower back to center, breath out. Two more times, breathe in, open up, breathe out, reach up, breathe in to the heart, breathe in, open up, last one, breathe out, tip top, breathe out, come to center, and then press the palms together. Rotate the femurs a little out and a little back so that you can grab onto the tip of the tailbone. Shift to your right. Kick your left heel up behind you. This is where your chair or wall are gonna come in handy. We're gonna take that foot and we're gonna reach slightly out back, touch the toe, and then pull it back and in. Reach and touch and pull back and in. So we're playing with core muscles here. Where does my upper body need to be in these postures? So balance training for balance postures, a lot of classes will only throw in one balance posture. You wobble all the way through and go, man, I wish I really knew how to do that. 
So this time we're gonna pull in, stand all the way up, let those arms reach out and lift. So in this particular class, we're gonna build that confidence by giving you the building blocks to really nail these postures. Next time you breathe out, the foot steps down, hands come back to prayer and give it a breath. Nice. All right, breathing in, breathing out. Squeeze the tip of the tailbone, shift left, right leg comes up and back. And then touch that toe and lift. And you're gonna notice one side is way more wobbly than the other. Touching, you may have to put this right foot down more firmly than you did your left toe. Excellent, this time we're gonna pull up and firm up right out of that foot, kicking back. Once you're nice and stable, lift those arms up and out. So for those of you with great balance, this may all seem, oh gosh, come on, let's get to the fun stuff. But that's where ego is getting overly involved. Breathe in, breathe out, step it down, hands to heart. So the part where we want to hurry through what we consider easy and get to the big stuff, that's where we're hitting our ego and yes, hit the ego. But what's where, where do we get stuck in that process? Breathe it in. Slice the hands out and down. Nice. Shift out to your right. I'm going to switch around for you. Switch right. Kick that heel back. This time, turn the knee out. And we're going to press out and down and then lift back up. Out and down and lift. Whoa, see? So it's different when I've got to come through the side plane of the body. So that's your half moon postures. Or whether I'm going to come down into an eagle, down into Garudasana. Those are through the front plane. We've got one more step out and back. Touch it down. Now, lift it, lock that ankle into either the back of the ankle or the calf or the back of the thigh, then turn out and up. So play with the belly button. Where's the belly button in this posture? So if my belly button is hanging forward and I've got my posterior out like a little duck, then I've got to take this, especially with women and that transverse abdominus where those babies sat, and I've got to pull it in. Lock that hamstring and that left leg together, and then breathe out. Put that foot down. <sighs> Come back in. Hot acid in the ankle. Yay. All right. So, am I trying to hurry or? Can I be right here? You know, COVID's teaching a lot of us to be right here. But, oh, when I know there's fun stuff coming, I get like a racehorse. Ooh, 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 let me get to the fun stuff. Ah. <laughs> Y'all know me. You know me very well. Breathe in. Hands come down. Ah. We're going to shift over to that right. Oh, shift to the left. Other side. <laughs> that heel pops up the knee swings out. So what I've got to do is I've got to lock in through the posterior chain back here. I've got to pull my belly button in. And then when I step out and back and I lift, I don't want to launch my head through the universe back here. I want to make sure that each time I'm coming right up over the center of that foot. So I've got a little half cosmic curtsy, a little half OMG here. And a press. This time we're going to press up, press, press, press. Gorgeous. Arms up. They take that leg, mash that. If you're down here, really squeeze it in. It doesn't look like much. Breathe it in. Holding up. Wait for the lava to build the magma. It's building in the ankle. And then come down in center. Beautiful. Step up to the front of your mat. Breathe it in. Exhale those hands down. Sweep them out and up. 
hands come down to thighs. I'm going to kiss Colson unless I back up a little. And then reach up to the center of the back, cat and cow here for one, two, third one. Let that back flatten out. And then I'm going to sweep hands forward, right leg reaches back, warrior one, high heel or heel turned down. If you're going to turn that heel down, make sure you level that the bottom of the pelvis with the floor so that you don't crunch back there at S. One, breathe in, breathe out. Hands to left thigh, slide that right leg in into that little side squat that we had going on. And then we're going to pop up into a tree. So let that leg come out to the side. I'm going to come a little forward. So we're coming up right leg to the left. You can come way up and in. But now the body's had its wobbly time. You may still be wobbly, but ah, oh, I've played with Meshad, Shadrach, and Abednego, the three little bones in the ears that I know. <laughs> I've played with my balance aspect. Three, two, one, feet side by side, hands at prayer, roll out the standing leg. Nice. Inhaling and exhaling. So as you settle back in to both feet, let everything land. Take into mind how this is mimicking some process in your life. Like, well, I don't know. Or, okay. We don't know, maybe we don't know, but let's see what happens. Breathing in, breathe those hands down, sweep those arms out and up overhead. Hands come down to thighs, sweep that spine up, arch, let the belly drop for one. Spine reaches up, that's two. Spine reaches up, that's three. Come back into Utkatasana, sweep those arms forward. Step that left leg back, heel down or heel up. Ah, sit into that warrior one. Find the belly button, okay? Squeeze the inner thighs a little closer together. And then when you go to step up, Ah, it's going to be like an explosion. Hands come to thighs. Step forward with the balance. Lift and really come right up out of it. So I'm here and then I'm going to lift right up into there. Coming up a little higher. And then if you want to change this, how would you change it now that maybe... I'm a little, could you put the hands together behind the back in a clasp and lift the heart space and stretch that ego space? Maybe that's going to be a no way, never, not in this lifetime. But we're going to keep playing with it. Breathe in, breathe out, release, come back to center. Roll out that ankle. Yes. What life process does this mimic? I know for a lot of us, you know, it's like I look at the faces and it's like, how many of you spent your careers telling people what to do? So it's nice to go to a class and go, ta-da, tell me what to do. I'll do whatever you say. <laughs> but for some of us, it's hard to be told what to do. Well, I didn't want to do it that way. Don't. Do it your way. Don't do it my way. <laughs> breathe in exhale hands down reach out and up this time right hand is going to grab that left wrist and we're going to sweep over to one side breathe it in breathe it out lift back up center arms are going to sweep out back lift the heels if you can if they're not going to pay attention today don't make them breathe in Breathe out, hands come down to thighs, right leg is going to step back, hands are going to sweep up, find that warrior one. You might have a short stance, you might have da -da -da, your superhero stance on today, breathe it in, 
breathe it out. Hands come to that front thigh, whichever one you've done. Slide it in together. Let everything, the knee is going to rise out front. Let everything build up and then extend that leg right out front. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bend that leg. Sweep that heel through the back. Right hand grabs right ankle. And then tip me over and pour me out. Dancer posture. Find your third eye with your thumb if you want to. And then release out. Hands come together in prayer. Play with it all. It's hard to self-judge when you know nobody else is watching you. Right? Takes away that weird ego aspect. Well, nobody can see me. So am I doing it right? So go to how it feels. How do I feel? I feel weird. Breathe in. Breathe the hands down. Reach out and up. Right hand grabs left wrist. Pull out and over. Opening the side of this ego space over here. Inhale. Exhale. Lift center. Sweep down and in. Lift the heels if you can. Collarbones come high. The shoulder blades come and kiss together in the back. You want to take this one step further. Touch the hips, the heels, then lift, then send left leg back, then sweep the arms up. If it doesn't feel good, do other things. Oh, look, I got wardrobe malfunction going on. Got skin hanging out. It's weird. Breathe in. Breathe out, hands to thigh. We're going to propel ourselves forward. Lift. Left thigh came up. Extend that heel forward. Three, two, one. Kick it behind. Grab some wall. Grab some Colson. Ah. Reach out and back. The hand and the foot become symbiotic. Thumb to the third eye, if that would work. Breathing in, breathing out, stepping side by side. Prayer. <sighs> Beautiful. And then if you've got wall space, use wall space. You don't have to. I like to back up against wall space sometimes. Beep, beep, beep. For, so for the next one, right knee is going to come up. And I'm going to find my shoulder blades against a wall if I have it. And I'm going to take my hands and tuck it out over the edge of my right knee. And just pull up and in. So this is wind relieving posture. But now I'm standing instead of laying on my back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left hand is going to come out. Right knee is going to open up. So if you've got your back against the wall, shoulder blades stay planted right against the wall. Find a cactus arm with the left. And then turn the body to face the left knee. So now my foot and my body are going in two different directions. Breathe in, breathe out, slowly open back up again, and then release. <sighs> nice. <sighs> Last one, and then we head to the floor. You know, the body's going, what? It's all good. It's all good. I didn't sign up for this today. Eh, who signs up for anything anymore? Shift right, left knee comes up and in, sweep down. So this is where training with the wall comes in handy because now I can really plaster my shoulder blades to the wall. So when I pull up and in, I can really use my biceps and my upper back. And then that right arm sweeps out. I open the leg. You could do this without the left hand on the leg if you wanted to, but here's the trick. My right toes are going to face forward. 
But now my upper body is turning, whoa, to face that leg. Yes. Notice how much of the base of the glutes and the back of that ham you're having to use. And then turn that body back forward. Just little micro movements. And then hands, feet, everything comes in. Step wide, hands to hips. Find those hula hoops. Oh, yeah. In it to win it. That's what we're doing. We're saving ourselves from our egos. <laughs> ah, other direction. You know, I say that, and it's like, am I saving myself from my ego? And the last year, I've seen a lot of my ego and how my ego was fueling me. So why was my ego fueling me and not my heart? Hmm. So want to be more heart-centered. Well, there's been a lot more tears in the last year because there's been a lot of stuff that wasn't filtering through my heart all these years. Oh, so now I'm actually feeling them. Ooh. <laughs> Toes out. Heels out. Hands either to thighs, shins, floor. Let that body fold forward. So after all of that stability work, you're going to find that low back is going to be a little tender. So give it some time. If you want to reach out and grab the outside edges of the feet or the outsides of the ankles, do so. Maybe widen as much as you can and work on your straddle split <laughs> for one of you. <laughs> oh. They used to make us do those in Kung Fu. I was glad I didn't have to learn to do a straddle split, split in order to get my black belt because that was never going to happen. Pause in the center. Release the hands, the feet, the foot or the floor and wrap the arms inside of each other unless you're really far out. And then just let the weight of the arms pull you in and down. Belly button still draws in. Breath is still nice and full. And then player's choice here. How would you like to get down to the floor? If you want to walk it out into a wide leg straddle, from the straddle out into the wide leg plank. Awesome. If you want to come down onto all fours, go there. But if you're in a plank, give yourself three more breaths. Plank is not for everyone because of wrists and hands and arthritis and stuff. But if you're going to come down onto all fours, after your three breaths, let the knees come down. Hips come down, roll to one side, feet come out in front. <sighs> and then wobble from side to side once you're done with your plank. And then find comfort on those sits bones somewhere. My feeties are out of the camera. It's weird. Establish that staff posture, that dandasana. Shoulder blades up, back, and down. Palms of the hands reaching toward the floor. So if you reach hard enough toward the floor and then you engage the side body, you're going to engage your lats and your serratus muscle over here. So really press down until you feel the sides of the rib cage flare and flex. But then notice what happens to the toes, because most people, once they flex one part of the body, the tension goes away from the other. So we're making space to the center of the body for that ego space again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold the attention in the rib cage there and continue to breathe. <sighs> then holding spine there, lift the arms like Frankenstein and then start to shift body weight back. Shift back until you feel everything from the hips across, hips to ribs, ribs to ribs in this square here. Make sure it all fires off and that you don't suddenly start hanging on the spine. Breathe in, 
fire it up. Come on, light the fire in that ego. That's creativity, that sense of self. That's where joy bubbles up from. Breathe in, breathe out, lift hands up overhead, bending forward only until you feel resistance. Then let the arms come down, pulling ever so slightly. Forward fold. If you're really super flexible and you still have your ball nearby, you could take your ball and put it beyond your feet and hold on to the ball. Or adversely, press into the ball. That will light off your abs. Breathing in, breathing out. Next time you breathe in, arms reach up, heels slide in, upward facing boat. Hands can come to prayer, hands can come to the back of the legs. Give yourself all the permission you need to be awesome. Inhale, exhale, cross right over left, pull in a little more. Give yourself another breath. Cross left over right, pull in a little more. Ooh, yes. And then soul to soul, feet come down, hands reach for the ankles or the toes. Let the heart open over the top of that third chakra. <sighs> you know, it's funny. All the things, you know, I was told when I was young never say never, never say never. I said I'd never become a secretary. I became a secretary. I would never become a school teacher. I became a school teacher. Oh, shoot, I've lived most of my life teaching at this point. You know, it's like never say never. Well, I'm never going to do that. Ah, maybe the body had a couple of never moments today. I'm never going to be able to get this. Well, that's all ego space because we're not giving the body time to produce energy from the heart. I'm never going to be a teacher. <laughs> oh, and look at it now. I love it like I love nothing else. Reach forward, lift up. Left leg reaches out. Left leg reaches out. That's my other leg. Right leg pulls in. Ah, we're going to go left hand to right knee. Go give yourself an open twist. Towards So my legs in the left side started doing weird things. So I'm going to look back and make sure I'm still flexed. I'm going to lift, twist. And then for those of you that want to go for the big ego opening lift, plant that back leg and really open up. But if you're not going to lift, just stay in the twist. Be in the juiciest part of it, winding through those first three chakras and reevaluating the energies there. Breathe in, breathe out. Your baby wild thing comes down. We turn back in toward the leg, reach for the toes. Nice. The neighbor's dog is going spare. A fox just ran across the road. <sighs> Chickens are tucked safely away and so is the cat. <laughs> Big breath. <sighs> Roll up. <sighs> Exchanging legs. We're almost there. Almost. To the fun part, the yoga nappy time. All right, left foot is on the inside of that right. Reaching up and then right hand, left knee, left hand behind. Might get a little chiropractic pop, popity, pop, pop, but make sure that right foot is where you want it to be as if it was standing on a, an imaginary floor. Big breath. If you want that one more big movement, that left hand plants, that shin really reaches down and in, and then you get that 
lift in that stretch from root to sacral to solar plexus and then the heart just caps it off and if you throw that head back and you laugh then you activate that throat chakra too inhale exhale roll those hips down sweep in toward that leg square shoulders square pelvis come into the knee the shin or the foot and then what's left do we wring this out or wring that out or move this around practice this bobble through that what's left sweep the arms back up both feet come together but further away from the body fold down and in if you want to tuck the arms out and under and close down upper body into lower body and then it sounds like i fell down a well oyster posture so an oyster posture bind with some part of the body and lift away from the pelvis out and away and then fold down and in because if i curl down that i'm crushing that ego space but if i unfurl like a happy flag in the wind then i'm still open in those spaces but i'm down in a contemplation space does it matter who i am or who I always wanted to be, or who I wanted to be with. Does it really matter? Or can you just be right here, right now? One more full breath in and out. And then rolling right back up into either meditation position or onto your back and stretch out. So rolling out and back. Ah, oh, if you want to, I'm gonna come a little closer. So stretching out, even if you're sitting up and you're in a meditation posture stretch where's the stretch so if you're on the floor really stretch out and maybe reach through one set of fingertips and then the other and then through one toe and then the other getting that transverse stretch across the body like almost like an earthworm that's come up out of the soil for the first time the year ah oh. and then once you think that you've maximized your length then slowly, maybe even letting arms come into cactus on your back. <sighs> Toes roll out to the side. And then start to deepen the breath. Because the key with ego that I'm learning anyways, is compassion and with the breath comes compassion with the breath comes oh i'm giving myself a moment reevaluating in this second the dalai lama talks about his favorite mantra all the times om mani paid me hum and it's a um, Meditation is a mantra for cultivating compassion. And he talks about cultivating it with the self first. So fan the flames of that self as you settle. And I'm just going to repeat the mantra, and you can either repeat with me or just listen or tune me out. Let's see what happens. Om Mani Padme Hum.
Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Oh, money, pay me. 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 Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 Sip in just a little more air with the next breath. And then a little more air with the next breath. It's no accident that the heart space and the ego space are stacked one on top of the other and that it's compassion that starts with the self. That's kind of like the cosmic iron that evens them out and allows them to talk to each other 
in a civil and kind way. Canceling out negative self-speech or negative judgment about self or others. Breathe a little more deeply into that belly. Or if you need to stretch and move in any way, start to move around. Never seems to be a long enough process. So if you need to stay where you are, it's up to you. Maybe just for today, use the heart as a filter before we have any judgment about the self. This may be just maybe things have changed and we don't need our old processing systems. With a big breath in, sigh it out. Next breath gives us an ohm, breathing in. Bring hands in at heart, maybe rub them together, take a breath in. Uh, for another sound. Third breath in, fire it up one more time. I appreciate every single one of you that comes and goes. My heart loves your heart. My ego loves your ego. My everything loves your everything. <sighs> compassion, 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 compassion. Ah, <sighs> thank you, thank you. I'm going to.